President Joe Biden is laying out a new strategy to protect abortion rights. I believe we have to codify Roe v. Wade. Thursday, he called on Democrats to change the filibuster rules in the Senate, allowing Democrats to pass legislation without any GOP backing. Just make it clear how outrageous this decision was and how much it impacts not just on woman's right to choose, but on privacy generally. The president's broader call to protect privacy comes after Justice Clarence Thomas signaled in his dissent that he'd like the court to reconsider issues like access to contraception and gay marriage. But the president's plan is easier said than done. Senator Joe Manchin, one of two senators who refused to change the Senate rules last year, confirmed to us Thursday that his position has not changed. This is not the political environment to be looking for that. At the NATO summit Thursday, Illinois Democratic Senator Dick Durbin said he doubts the two senators will suddenly have a change of heart. In the meantime, President Biden says he will work with states to figure out how to get around the wave of new abortion bans. I'm having a meeting with a group of governors when I get home on Friday and I'll have announcements to make them. Earlier this week, the Biden administration said it is considering new ways to help women access abortions, including paying for women to travel outside their states for reproductive health care. In Washington, Raquel Martin.